Hello, my name is J Dog Vox, also known as Bobby Baker, and here I am telling you about my campaign. The reason I am running here for Sherlock's Town is not only is the place beautiful, but I just love the environment. I know my the person running against me. Uh, Alexander Frenchpot is wanting it to be more green and more nature. Well, let me tell you this. I plan to add a park in where we're going to have different festivals. I plan to have parades that go around the town. There's going to be a lot more coming. It's just been tough these past few weeks as I've been very busy. But we are going to get stuff done. I just have recently got the building of the casino done. All I need now is the different casino games and then we will be working on getting what's it called? Uh, the neighborhood in. And then we're going to add a supermarket and then the park will come. We also have a park inside the mall if you did not know. No, let me go ahead and take you on a walk around Sherlock's town. Let's go here. I'll just attach the GoPro to my... Um, yes, here is the uh, business center, which is very tall. We were just up in the CN Block News office. Um, so basically, my idea for this town... We have more factories, but they're going to be on the very outside of the town. That factory there is a good example of a factory where and where one's not going to be. We have the business center there. Well, I mean, not business center. Trade depot there. Which, it wouldn't be there unless I had approved it going there. And approved the building for it. It was a great idea by Maller, a.k.a. Alexander Frenchbach. But... I had seen it and I thought that would be great to have here. And if we didn't put it here, he would build it in Newburgh. Which I hope he knows that if he is not going to be, well, if he's going to be mayor of Sherlock's town, he can't be the project manager of Newburgh. These two houses I have built, they're small, little, cheap, affordable houses. The casino over here, completely my own design. And I think it's working out great. We have this area, which will kind of be a little hangout area. We'll probably put some picnic tables out here that people can go sit at. Let's just walk into the casino real fast. First of all, you have this huge dome area. You have this area. It really is a good casino. And then you have the mall, completely my idea. Not, not the, the design, design wasn't, I hired, I hired someone, someone to design, design it, but the, the actual, actual mall itself was my idea. idea. Came, Came out, out of my wallet. wallet. Let's, Let's just go in here. We don't, we don't have a whole lot of businesses, businesses in here right, right now because we don't, don't have anyone coming, but we have, have this park here. here. With, With the fountain. fountain. You see, this is what, what we want to see, see in the city. city. Stuff, Stuff like, like this. Eh. Let, Let me try, try and get, get out, out of this town. Um. I, I want to take, take down some, some old buildings, buildings that aren't doing any good. I'll, I'll take, take you over, over to one, one now. now. Also, also, in this, this area, area right in front of me, I want to add a... Supermarket, maybe here. Or I might go over here in this plot here. But those that neighborhood over there is cheap, affordable housing. I built the IKEA. Um, but that building there, the old apartment center, I want to get rid of. And I want to make a new police station. And I want to add an impound lot here. There's really a lot we could do here. 
I built this building completely my own design. Which it's the, the demo and builder place of work. I want to make a better minecart station. But this building here, I want to get rid of. It's just taking up space that we don't need. The police station, it could look a lot nicer. But, I mean, the train depot's not bad for what it's used for. Um, I want... Yes, this building is a little bit extravagant. It doesn't match the city at all. But... That's why it's in this portion. The builds in this area are going to be less modern, which is what the city's going to look like. And it's 25,000, but if you look at all the space you get, you have down here, which is pretty big. Then you have this floor, and then you also have upstairs here. So it really isn't that bad of a place. 25,000 for that. The price might get lowered a little bit. You have the airport, which I want to get a little bit nicer so we can have some of the big planes landing here when we get air travel up more. Um, you see you have these small builds over here. That currently we have a business actually here. Tool supply store. Oh, they left that open close that don't want anyone robbing them and then you have the clothing shop here which if I'm being completely honest might get moved but it has all the Halloween costumes I want to do some Halloween stuff here in the town let me go show you where we're gonna add the park in um, we're gonna put the park right here in this plot We'll have, a, it's enough room for a Christmas tree, some benches, a little fountain area. And if we have to, we'll add it on over here as well. So there is a lot to work on. And then we'll put factories behind the trade depot. Or maybe even just beside them, but it's too close to the neighborhood, I feel like. So we'll see. Um, the business center prices might go down a little bit. Planning a new dealership, don't know when that will happen yet. But the dealership now currently has some nice cars. You have, okay, not showing prices of them. Well, this is a Bugatti here. You have, um, a Chevy over here, I'm pretty... So you have a lot of cars there that will be nice to have. Um, this factory will be moved. We might have the impound. We're going to have an impound lot somewhere. We have this giant parking lot. You see, but uh, Alexander makes a big deal about there being no greenery. When If you look at Mineville, does Mineville have any greenery? Not really. Um, actually, while we're here, maybe we'll all take you all over to Newburgh. Well, actually, maybe to Mineville, I'll show you. But here's the job center that I have done so good to transform into a job center. You have all this up here that people can rent out or for businesses to come. Uh, we recently actually just got a working elevator in the mall. I'll go ahead and take you there now. cares about realism right now. Here's the elevator. Now we're upstairs. 
see. It works so well. And downstairs. You see, what we could do is maybe get some elevators into the big buildings. Now I'll take you all over to Mineville now, which is just across the way, and we'll show you how much you're lucky if you can find some nature in Mineville, which is what Mallor's all about. I mean, you have plenty here in Sherlock's town. You have none in Mineville. So he's basically trying to make the city more realistic when you can't find much in Mineville. I mean, look at Mineville. It's mainly empty space. I mean, you have a little bit between builds, but you have no actual trees, nothing like that. Yes, you have the farms, but that's about it. And the f oh wow, Mineville is laggy. But if you can name one tree you see, I could wait. I mean, if you want tree the nature, go to Kinsmart. They have more trees than any town. You see, most people can agree that nature is not a big deal. So, as I would like to say, uh, thank you all very much watching this and I would just like to say it has been a pleasure serving as mayor of Sherlock's town and I hope that you all consider me for mayor thank you all very much and I'll see you all later and I hope I have your vote